And we're back. And we are back. Do, do, do. Talk for yourself. I ain't crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not um, crazy. Ashley, yes. She's probably the craziest one sitting around the stage. I am not. Uh, My middle name is Adrienne. No, she is. Sane. Okay. Okay. I'm going to tell you a story. Nope. Can I tell a story? No. Nope. Please. No. It's for the people. I don't Walk even know. I just don't believe the story. It's lies. Is the story lies? It's lies. Can I tell the story? What's the story? Okay. Well, you're asking what the story. Can I tell it, though? But what is the story? I'm going to tell you on air. No, but give me a hint. (laughs) Swimming. No. (laughs) Come on, come on, please. Come on. You're trying to make me sound crazy. (laughs) We're all a little crazy. (laughs) She doesn't believe I'm a mermaid in real life. Wait, no, thank you're you. Not a mermaid. Wait, oh, thank sorry, you. I'll switch up my words. <laughs> she is crazy. No, so Adrian believes. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Ad believes that when she swims, <laughs> her feet and hands <laughs> <laughs> turn into my fins. Bruh. Oh, like, so, like, you like H2O in it. Have you ever watched that show, H2O? That was my show. So, like, you, like, go into the water and, like, turn into a mermaid. You know how, like, your feet get that cramp and it's like they can't move? <laughs> that's not. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, your legs. Or when you're swimming, like, they just stay together and you move like a. Like, Can you swim? Yeah. Well, she be, like, dolphin in it. <laughs> really? I just okay. haven't been she in a pool for a long time because of my hair. She thinks that her hands and feet turn into fins. Because they do. And, and like we're can, all a little crazy. I can swim in the ocean. I can swim in the pool. I can swim. Okay. And, all right. So, okay, that song was by <laughs> Luke James Schaefer. We're all a little crazy. You said I'm not your chauffeur. <laughs> no, I was a chauffeur, not chauffeur. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're all a little crazy. It is a really great song, so you should check it out. Speaking of we're all a little crazy, Resi has a game we can play. Yes. So when I was younger, I used to do this game uh, where basically I used to come up with what the worst could that could happen in any given situation was. So you have to pick an object, mm-hmm. any object. It can be a candy wrapper it could be a glass it could be a microphone Ooh, and you have to figure out how it would destroy the world oh i got my idea. wait the whole world the not whole just world. you not just you the whole world you got to get creative oh that's deep okay all right i want to play okay. okay so we have to pick something on this table like in this room oh sure in the room okay i pick Oh, not me first. I'm <laughs> picking in my mind, but go ahead. Okay. I'm scared. Oh, All right, who's first? Rezzy, oh, do us the honors. God. Okay. Jaden, you pick me an object. All right. How can this Starburst wrapper destroy the world? Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, you take this Starburst, this Starburst wrapper and you throw it in the ocean because you're like to pollute things apparently literally <laughs> literally and <laughs> one day there's a seal coming along and the seal decides that this starburst wrapper looks like very good food and because of it because of the chemicals in this wrapper it mutates into a seal superhero and through this seal superhero we have saved the world multiple times it becomes famous it it becomes the super Deep. seal <laughs> Except the thing is, the super seal has many enemies. And. Mm, yes. <laughs> I'm a <for> super seal. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, the big corporations do not like the idea of a seal being able to rule the world. The seal doesn't even need money to rule the world. 
It just needs a stupid little Starburst wrapper. Like M O K. Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, in order to destroy the seal, the corporations go on a hunt for it. Except the seal went into hiding. And while going into hiding, it went deep into the depths of the ocean. Except, except seals cannot survive that <laughs> far down yeah. in the ocean. <laughs> so, naturally, the world falls into despair because the seal tried to go very deep and died. And because of it, the big corporations take over the world and the world dies. That sounds like America. <laughs> <laughs> right. That sounds like America. Dang. The end. That's deep. Ooh. That was deep. I anyway, was about, right. oh my gosh. I'm, like, I'm a choke on the moon. Right. I'm like, <laughs> ooh, the moonshine gonna drown all of us. It don't have to make any drown. sense, but that's the point of oh, the game. Oh, I like it. Okay. Yes. So what do you do that to do? Like to So in the past I used to just do it for fun. I used to like if I was bored at lunch in middle school or something like that, I would do it. Oh or... wait, this happened before you were actually <laughs> Yeah. And okay. then I kind of turned it into something for like if I was getting anxious about a certain situation, I'd be like, oh, well, what's the worst that could happen in this situation? And like you could tell, the story didn't make any sense for that one. But um, that's kind of the point of it for me. Like, if it's really weird and it's really absurd, it kind of gets you to think that, hey, whatever I'm worrying about isn't that big of a deal. Like, Oh, I love that. That's Rezzy. not the worst. The worst thing that can happen is what I just imagined. So nothing will ever be that bad. It's fine. See, that I need to use that because I think pretty negatively. Mm-hmm. And that would actually help me. I think a lot of people do. Yeah. I think I don't, a lot of people do. I'm not really optimistic, though. Like, the worst is set in stone. That's what it is. And that's what it's going to be. What? what? Uh, okay. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. a lot of people are like, I mean, this could happen. But, you know, we could turn it around. And we can be like this. And it can be great. Life is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like that. I'm like, we about I to think die. The twist. <laughs> that's that's the supposed to throw me off because you really look gnarly. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, seriously. <laughs> no, but seriously, that's actually good. Yeah. Especially to make it, like, crazy like that, too. Yeah, because like, um, I feel like I'm a pretty reasonable and practical person. So, like, I feel like if I'm worrying about something, it's not something that's super crazy or super unheard of like it's something that could actually happen hmm. do you um, have particular topics that make you sorry i know we get on top do you have particular topics that make you anxious um i guess like mostly if it's something that would affect other people so if it's like hey if i don't okay hold on let's let's talk about like me posting for the page or something like that if Ooh, i don't okay. if i don't post today then the whole page is going to go off track. Oh, no. Oh, so responsibility makes you yeah. nervous. Espe- really? But particularly when it comes to, like, affecting other people. Other because people. that's something that I don't like doing. I don't like negatively affecting mm. other people. So, like, I'm like, okay, well, what's the worst that can happen? Um, and then rather than coming up with, like, a reasonable what's the worth that, what worst that can happen, I would rather just come up with a crazy one. Because then it throws off the whole me trying to be reasonable thing. Then it's like, okay, it's not that bad. It's okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's that makes sense. Good. Yeah. Like yeah. That mm-hmm. makes a lot of sense. And it's relatable too. Yeah. Because you probably felt that way. Oh, for a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What's the worst that could happen? I think we all need to use that. Right. So like toys. We could all slip on all the Legos and die. <laughs> Who's got that many Legos around? That thing has a lot. Of- <laughs> I don't understand. Legos, Legos are so dangerous. Like, why are they allowed? Wait, hold on. First of all, don't you dare talk about Legos <laughs> in that manner. I love Legos, but I do realize that it is an age-appropriate toy. Oh, because kids like to choke themselves and stuff. I mean, I don't think they like to choke themselves, <laughs> but I do think that they. Yeah, if you don't know how to build nothing, you don't need to be playing with the Legos. That's why they got the big mega box for them. Yeah. Yeah. How do you build a house? No. Oh. Well. <laughs> and that was that. Yeah. All right. So I think, is there anything you want someone who's going through what you're going through currently? Okay. 
What do you want to let them know? It, or c- can you let them know Ooh, anything? Oh, this is like philanthropy. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I feel like a lot of the stuff that I might say is something that they've probably heard before. But in Don't case assume it's that. not. Yeah. I can't not anybody anything. going through it. Everybody went through it in their past life. That's what they say. <laughs> so in case you haven't heard this before, like uh, this is something that a lot of people deal with and a lot of people don't talk about. And I guess in the past, it was something that had, like, stigma attached to it. And mm-hmm. there still is, but, like, we're kind of getting to the point where it's not so bad to talk about it. And I would say, as someone who, like, went through a time period where I didn't want to say anything about it, it's a lot better to be open and to have a way to get it off your chest and to not always have to take it so seriously and take it to heart. Like... That's a good one. Yeah. I like that. I feel like when when you're just keeping it to yourself, then everything becomes a lot deeper than it actually is. It seems a lot deeper than it actually is, or it seems a lot worse. And, like, when you're just dealing with someone, I mean, something like this by yourself, your perspective of everything gets kind of skewed. So, like, you need other perspectives sometimes. You need, like, someone to give you fresh eyes for a situation or fresh ears fresh anything <laughs> um so open up to people and like be willing to actually talk and you don't have to talk about everything but know that it actually helps and try it and see if it works for you i like that because like most people will say deal with it but talking to people helps that's good Mm-hmm. Okay. Stay open, be open, open the doors. <laughs> to what? <laughs> <That's me. laughs> to open up your heart. Never so <laughs> but I like that. I have a question, but I can't think of it right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was here. It's it was traveling down, but it just got stuck. So I'm gonna. Throat? <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Oh. Let me see what happens. Yeah, still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. Well, Rezzy, we really, really, really appreciate you. This was great. I will never, ever, ever forget the seal story. <laughs> um, and I hope you come up with something really creative for the Instagram page with the seal. Oh, Lord. And going into the right. ground. <laughs> uh, but no pressure. <laughs> Um, but I just want to tell you that you are doing an amazing job. I try to call you all the time to let you know that. Uh, and Adrian and I talk about, I'm I'm sorry. AD. Yeah. Don't roll your eyes. (laughs) Don't roll your eyes. I feel like when I roll my eyes, my eyes get dry and they get lazy. So one gets stuck. (laughs) (laughs) That's what you get for messing with a child of God. (laughs) <laughs> one gets stuck while the other is rolling around That's AD funny. and I talk about it all the time about how amazing you are um, and I'm we glad sure you're here do. I'm glad you're here to discuss this I think this episode will really 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 help someone I know that it helped me understand that's what it helped me do understanding you and understanding a little bit more about situations and people dealing with this stuff realizing that you know we shouldn't be on y'all as seriously as we feel like, but it's not all black and white either. Yeah. It's okay to have gray areas and green days, blue days, <laughs> orange days. <laughs> it's okay to have the colors of the rainbow days. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And I think for me, which I've told you this. What millions of times and i tell Jaden this and yeah. ad this and i say it all the time i'm trying to see what you're about to say <laughs> what do you say all the time? <laughs> is that i think it's okay and and again i i don't i don't understand it fully yeah you know and i think that's okay i think you going through it not i think i know that you going through it is okay um and asking questions is okay for me i think the sitting in it yeah you know and and it's okay to sit for a period of time but you gotta keep moving you gotta keep moving that's what Even life is just all going about up the street to the store every day 
Or just walking around in circles. Oh, true. Just, just move. Don't Jay, look at don't, me like don't, that. don't look like that because you've definitely walked around in circles yeah. multiple times. Yeah, I do it all the time. Yeah. And then, yeah. But yeah, you do actually say that all the time. Look at her with some real advice. <laughs> Wait. Ooh. I always give real advice. Real advice. It's okay to 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 go through whatever you're going through, especially as women. True. Like we're already emotional beings. We already go through so much. It sucks. What? I love it. I mean, being a I woman love, is cool, but I, the fact that we have to feel all of this shit is overrated. Deal with all this yeah, stuff. like what? all these extra feelings. Boobs are enough for me. These are fun. <laughs> 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 I want these. I want to get rid of everything else. Right. These are fun. This is cool. Lipstick. Ah, makeup. Yeah, but feeling all of the extra stuff, I'm cool. I'd probably be like, just like wielding like head and chest. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be okay with that, wouldn't you? No one legs to. Oh, what? <laughs> I want like <laughs> Yeah. I mean, again, I, I. I don't feel that we ever have to apologize for anything that we feel or go through. And it's very important that we all know that, whether it's man, woman, or child, it's okay. And and, and in fact, it, you need it. You need to feel. You need to have emotion. You need to go through all these things. But what's not okay is to sit in it. And I don't know what that is necessary like you have to get up and move once you figure it out i can't wait because i personally feel like once you get through it you won't ever go through it again mm. interesting so take as long as you need girl because we all go through it we I, all go through. oh it. oh let me just tell you i told you remember we had that conversation well, she's like no not really yeah sure <laughs> 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 okay. yeah we we sat and we talked about it and and hey, mom, I'm at mommy. I think I'm feeling this way. And I was like, girl, me too. <laughs> but I wish you would have came to me earlier because I'm over mine. So <laughs> let's, let's, let me, I mean, let's figure this out together. But yes, it is a real thing, whether it's after you have a baby or after you gain some weight or after you have sex for the first time. I don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> so all those things I are. Do. Stop being nosy. <laughs> but tell us all the, not the details. Just, no, just tell us. When. Be open with us. Like, let us know because we're here. But it's okay. Go through it. Feel. Emotions are okay. Just make sure that you you do the due diligence to move. M O V E move. Move. Oh, we should do the Beyonce dance. Why? Because it has a lot of movement in it? Because she's always encouraging us to move. The one she did with um, Michelle Obama. <laughs> Wasn't that like a move campaign? Is that what, what To it was? fight obesity. Am, oh, I, yeah. am I going crazy at the lunch? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, okay. Well, oh, the meat, meatless lunches? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Meatless lunches? No vending machines? Oh. Yeah, or hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love, I love First Lady Michelle, but... Uh, <laughs> she, she was we want some fried chicken. Hold on. She brought all the good fruit to my school. We had honeydew and strawberries and cantaloupe. We had Boo, I want some day. Doritos. She gave us reduced fat. Doritos and it was mostly air. That was so sad. Uh, I'm <laughs> glad air, I was out of school for not that. Air Doritos. I had oh, all the best. Y'all ain't got air Jordans. Jump. Y'all got air Doritos. <laughs> air Doritos. Like, okay. We still have vending machines, so I don't gotta go through that. We got all the good stuff. <laughs> we still got Starburst and Skittles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you down south. Everything's bigger down south. Oh. Chick fil A. Ooh. Ooh. Big Texas. Ooh. Eat more Ooh. chicken. What's that? Texas? Style? A big Texas. It's like this big cinnamon roll bun. Okay. Thing. Okay. We're so far off. <laughs> like, really? We're going to sit here and talk about food. Well, I promise you, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> I am. Just a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. But thank you, Rezzy. Thank you, Rezzy. This was Thanks, great. Rez. Leave the people alone. That's my motto. <laughs> she said, don't talk to her. She'll don't tell talk you much. when she wants to talk to you. <laughs> Hey, have you ever thought about making a hooch with your meds? No, <laughs> it's Pruno jailbirds or on hooch. that. Oh yeah, that is the same thing. It is. Or you make medicine like jailhouse lean. Don't do that. Kids, take the kids to bed. <laughs> <laughs> 
Take I mean, it. we're not giving you any ideas. We're not. Oh, of course not. But you got the good stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, so man. thank you. This was great. This was fun. Thanks for having me. Was that your glitter? Yeah. We got to get her some glitter. All right. Anything? Any last words? Uh, no. Except for bye. Oh. oh. Jay-Z. Uh, Jay-Z. <laughs> oh, gee, I'm a rapper. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. JC, anything you want to say? Mm, nah. Y'all, y'all get through it. <laughs> it's okay. It'll be okay eventually. Love y'all. AD? <laughs> what? Well, I said... <laughs> What'd I say? Don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, this is great. Leave the people alone. Stay alive. Keep moving. What else am I supposed to say? Don't judge us. Judge your mama. Yeah, right. don't judge me. <laughs> judge your mother. All right, bye. <laughs> Love you.